Hey guys, uh, this is MSP Designs. Uh, this is episode um, five, five or four, my tutorial Tuesdays. Um, today I'll be showing you guys um, how to make gloss or sort of like a glossy feel to anything or YouTube background mostly. Um, this is pretty easy in my opinion. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, I'll just use a default template like this. First, uh, you want to open up whatever you want to like select whatever layer you want to put the gloss on, and then you want to create a new layer by clicking this. And then you want to right click on that new layer and click on Create Clipping Mask. This will make it so the change only apply to that layer. You want to click on your marquee tool. I just want to make a selection about halfway up the box, I guess, like that. And then you want to set your two colors to the black and white. Just click here and I'll set them. Then switch them so the white's on top. And click on your gradient tool. And make sure it is on the white to transparent or foreground, foreground to transparent. Click OK. And then you want to drag up, you want to go way past the top kind of like that, and then you want to deselect that or press ctrl D if you're on PC and just play around with the opacity I lower it down usually quite a bit, just about there and for smaller things like this top bar I'll just create another new layer and create a clip as clipping mask once again take my marquee tool, select about halfway then right click then you're going to want to go on fill then white press enter or ok uh, deselect that then you want to play around the opacity I usually put about 3% or a bit more depending on what color uh, scheme you have going on for your background and yeah you'll see it will give it a really nice look kind of like this background uh, and yeah this is just a plain sort of template that I made <clears throat> and yeah you have this really nice um, look to it I use it on most of my backgrounds although it does uh, make the file size a lot bigger than if you just had the plain black or whatever color you have so yeah I recommend that you guys use this and how long is it been? only two minutes okay. And I guess I can show you guys how to add brushes to Photoshop. I'm sure people are wondering this, so yeah. I want to click on your brush tool. Then you're gonna have um, <clears throat> all your brushes. Sorry about that. You have all your brushes in here. I have quite a bit of brushes, but to add some, you want to click on this. Then you want to click on this little arrow. And then you want to go on uh, load brushes. Then you want to go to wherever you saved all your brushes. I have them all saved in one folder. Um, I'll just click on this one. You want to press load, and it'll load up, and they should be at the bottom. There you go. Um, so there you go. Um, this is, um, I guess two tutorials in one. So it's like a big value pack video, I guess. And also, if you guys could do me a favor and go check out uh, Rise Rebels, he's a good guy. Uh, he has almost 7.2k subs. So yeah, go check him out. He's got some good stuff on his channel. and Also, go check out the Rise Clan. Good guys. Nice to talk to. And yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helped you. Don't forget to comment on this video. Because I don't get much comments. Um, something productive, I guess. Don't forget to rate the video. I prefer likes, obviously, but do what you feel. Um, and also subscribe if you already aren't subscribed. And don't forget to check out my entry for the V9 Studios background competition. Um, I'm currently at like 156 views. I only have 41 subs, so I think that's pretty good. So thanks to all the ones who watched it already. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this was episode 5, I think, of my tutorial Tuesdays. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.